medals and lettering trimmed in gold. John Hampton's our lead official this afternoon, assisted by Anthony Jordan and Tracy Woodson. And the Commodores control the tip. Vanderbilt moving left to right. Tennessee State will open up in a man-to-man. -man. They like to play pressure defense. They'll get after you. Vanderbilt with a decided height advantage here this afternoon. Tinsley, top of the key, Beal, drives with the left hand, pulls up from 14 feet, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It'll be Vanderbilt basketball. Jermaine drove left, had a wide open look. He has really been cold offensively over the last couple of three games. And Beal will trigger it in on the baseline, gets it into McClellan up top to Taylor. Jeffrey comes right side to Beal. Jermaine squares to the basket, gets a screen, kicks to Tinsley. Left wing, Taylor. Now up top, Beal. Wide open three straight away is good. Uh, they need to get him off the mark a little bit. He's been really struggling from the three-point line. 739 consecutive games with a made three-pointer. Peters drives to the right, banks it up off the glass from 10 feet. Good. Peters with a basket, 3-2, the Vanderbilt lead. Down court quickly, Beal through traffic to the glass, missed it. Rebound Covington for Tennessee State. I think Jermaine thought he was fouled, didn't get the whistle there. It looked like he got his arm grabbed right there, going through the, through the layup. Peters, crossover dribble, almost fell down. Got back up with it, gets the ball back, thought about the three. You've got McClellan on him. That's a tough matchup, really, for both those guys. Darshawn at 6'7", trying to keep up with this six-foot speedster. Peguero lost the basketball, almost stolen by Beal. Shot clock at eight. Now Peguero drives to the lane, rejected by Azili. Beal down court. Jermaine kicks to Taylor. Jeffrey got the roll. And he got hit in the side of the head right there on that play. Festus with the block. For him, that is number 12 on the season. 5-2 to Vanderbilt lead. And now the Commodores with a little pressure in backcourt. Peters brings it across the center line. And Vanderbilt will set up defensively. Almost three minutes gone here in the first half. And Tennessee State spreading the court. Covington in the corner dribbles it back up to the top. Keeps his dribble going, guarded by McClellan. Now gives it to Peters, who steps back, takes an 18-footer. It's short. Rebound, Thunderbird for Tennessee State. Press 35. Crutcher out near the center line, guarded by Jeffrey Taylor. Crutcher slips and he double dribbled with it or traveled, call either one. Got into the lane and or actually got into the circle between the free throw line and the top of the key and lost his footing and turned it over. So Vanderbilt with the ball and a five for Vanderbilt's lead, seven to two. Well, he came off a little bit of a curl screen right there. His defender was behind him and he just attacked the rim. Tennessee State still in the backcourt. They get it across the center line and now Crutcher drives through traffic, gives it to Covington who lays it in high off the glass. Nice little dribble penetration there leading to the basket by Covington. 7-4, the Vanderbilt lead. Beal front court quickly to Tinsley on the right wing. Down inside to Festus. Festus squares, goes up off the glass good. I just don't see how Tennessee State can deal with him if he gets the ball in that position. Well, he got it right low at the block. Funderburg had no answer for that. 9-4, Commodores. 15-45 to go first hand. Will Peters racing down court. Taylor coming down. Peters falls down flat on his back. But he got the ball to Covington, and his jumper is long. Rebound Festus with a board. Outlet to Beal. Jermaine behind the back dribble across the center line. Vanderbilt leading 9-4. Tinsley for a three, just too strong. Rebound Thunderbird for the Tigers. TSU coming into the front court. Long three launched by Crutcher is good. Well, there's nothing you can do about that. That was about five feet outside the three-point line. 9-7 the Vanderbilt lead. Almost five minutes gone. Beal front court. Vanderbilt 18, Tennessee State 12. 11-27 to go in the half. John Hampton puts the ball on the floor and says, let's go. And Andre Walker brings it into Jermaine Beal. Commodore 6 of 13 from the field. TSU is 5 of 14. Tinsley throws it inside too tall for A.J. And it's going to go out of bounds. And the Commodores have turned it over now six times here in the early going. Well, that was, wasn't really a pass. That seemed to be like a heave. They just were trying to get the ball over. A.J.'s got to actually go after and get that ball. He's got to release off the contact and go get that ball. Kevin Stallings just telling him, you got to go get it. TSU, Will Peters in the front court, guarded by Tinsley, gets a screen, Tinsley stays with him, left wing Sane launches the three, it is short, bounces over the top of the backboard, and will be Vanderbilt's basketball. Well, Vanderbilt's up six right now, and had, what, six turnovers? Hamilton Nash, number 11, 6'6", six, six, Jr., is into the game for TSU. Jenkins to the basket, a little reverse, won't go, and TSU with a rebound. 
sort of scooped it up underhanded, and it was a little bit too strong. Well, you got to take that ball up strong. You can't double pump it right there. Three from the top is way offline, bricked off the backboard by Sane. Rebound Beal. I got a feeling somebody might be coming out for TSU after a couple of errant shots. Beal dribbling the basketball into the corner, Andre Walker. Andre to John Jenkins, turns, a couple of dribbles, goes to Tinsley. They go down to Ogilvy on the baseline, can't shoot. Cross court Jenkins, open three for John. His good. That's good offense right there. AJ knew he didn't have it low on the baseline, looked diagonal. Jenkins was spotted up. Wide open look. Jenkins with nine in the early going here. 21-12, the Vanderbilt lead, longest lead of the afternoon. Front court, Will Peters for TSU. Guarded by Beal. Gives it to Nobles. Nobles traveled with it, no call. Pulls up from 17 feet. That shot is good. That was not an easy shot. A little pressure by TSU, 21-14. Walker brings it across the center line. Bounce pass, Ogilvy, A.J. laid it up good. Nobody picked Walker up, so he just kept going and it ended up with a relatively easy assist. So Beal made a great play. Tennessee State came to double team. He just released it to Andre, and then it was two on one. 23-14, the Vanderbilt lead. Sane spins, puts it up in the lane. It's no good. Long rebound. Sane got his own miss. Spins wants to put one back up. Nice dish inside for the dunk by Thunderbird. 23-16. Vanderbilt's lead, 9.20 to go first half. Beal front court, cut off on the wing. Up top, Andre Walker, left wing, Tinsley. Tinsley, A.J. comes up top. Now they find Beal. Jermaine for a three that's way off line, no good. Rebound Sane for TSU. Will Peters now with the Tigers into the front court. Back up top, Sane. Sane tries to drill tonight, one for three from the three-point line. Steve Chingang checks in for Vanderbilt, 6'9", sophomore out of Cameroon. He joins Beal, Jenkins. Goldburn and Festus Ezeli on the court. So interesting to see Chingang and Festus in there together now. Beal kicks it to the corner. Chingang and then Steve says, okay, let me find a guard and gives it to Beal. Ezeli with four rebounds here in the early going. Beal finds Jenkins on the right wing, bounce past Chingang about 13 feet from the basket. To Goldburn, they work it around the perimeter, left side, Beal. So Vanderbilt with a chance to stretch the lead to double digits for the first time this afternoon. Tinsley drives into the lane, kicks it up and laid up and in on a little alley-oop to Jeff Taylor who tapped it in. That was a set play. That was not a shot by Tinsley. That was a pass. 29-18, the Commodore lead. Crutcher with the basketball, guarded by Goldberg. This is not uncommon. We've seen Lance guard a lot of these smaller players all during the season. Bounce pass, high post, Thunderbird. Backs in on Festus. Goes up wild, shot oh, went in. That was a tough shot. There was nothing you can do about that. That was solid defense. Thunderbird was six, 29-20, the Commodore lead. And Festus getting extended minutes here in the first half. Got the start today. Goldburn into the corner, Tinsley. Brad looking inside, couldn't go there. Well, Festus really battling with Thunderbird, trying to get open. Well, he's been open, but he hadn't. Taylor. There he is, although they had him pinned, didn't go there. Instead, Chin Gang for three, well, why not? I'll tell you what, he better made that shot. As hard as Festus Azita was working, he was open about three or four times and no one delivering the basketball. 32-20, largest lead of the day for Vanderbilt. 5-18 to go first half. Will Peters looks for a screen from Darius Cox. Chin Gang picks him up on a switch. Well, that's got to be tough. If you're six foot and the guy that picks you up is 6'9", Covington on the left wing, bounce pass, reach in foul on Chingank. And Anthony Jordan explaining to Steve why he called him for the foul. His first, team's fourth. Sometimes when you get in that position, you know you're on the backside, you do some stuff that you don't, you don't normally do, and he reached around and grabbed him around the waist. I think it's fair to say, Tim, here in the early going, if you were looking for more intensity, you know, especially on the defensive end, yeah. I think they've gotten it so far Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Lance Gilbert's done a great job. I mean, he's, he's one of those kids at 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 that can guard a 5'10 guy on the perimeter. He comes out of the game, gets a breather. John Jenkins returns, waiting for Festus to tie his shoe. It's a long way to reach down when you're 6'11". Covington sends it in to Darius Cox, now to Thunderbird. Guarded by Festus, almost walked with it. Now Will Peters with it, Tinsley chasing it. Peters drives right, puts up the shot, blocked by Ezeli. Rebound Thunderbird, says, I don't want to go up in here. <laughs> Throws it back outside to Cox near the center line. He knew that thing was getting ready to take off. 